Hi guys, so in this video, we will see how we can add objects to interact with the character. So in this case, I have a character loaded up in here and I have an animation on him. It is a tennis animation and if we play it, we can see that he is throwing up a ball and then shooting it with a racket. But of course, the objects are not here, are not in the scene. So in this case, we will need to import the objects that we need to use and then use them with the character. I'm going to go to the project window in here and from my explorer I'm going to import some images. Now you can import any image that you would like but you can also import the scene designer that you have included and with that you have multiple objects that you can use and to interact with your character. Before importing the scene designer it is highly recommended to save before since when importing something, it might cause After Effects to, to not respond or something like that. So save in here, I'm going to choose increment and save so that I keep the last saving. And we have it saved and now I'm going to go to my folder in here, go to scene designer and I'm going to import scene designer. So it's importing that scene. Make sure to not touch anything while it's importing, leave it to take its time to import and there it is it's imported and now if we open up scene designer we can find the scene design objects in here open that up and we can see that we have a lot of different options in here to choose from i'm going to go to sports open that up and in here we have balls so we can choose a ball from here and we can double click on these to see what they are i would like to use this ball so ball two let's close these and then I have a racket in here as well. Let's go back to the character studio right in here. Zoom up a little bit in here. I'm going to close the character animation suite. And now let's go to the character parts and make sure to place these in their, in their place. So for instance, I want the ball to be in the left hand in here. So let's drag the ball right over the left hand. So. We have the left hand in here. Let's drag that right in there. So as you can see, it's quite large right now. So we simply need to scale this down. So press S on your keyboard, scale this down correctly. Let's make it around 10% and position it over the hand like that. And now we're going to import the racket and that should be right behind the uh, the right hand so let's find the right hand and i'm going to place it right behind the right hand in here it's actually good in size so i'm going to leave it as it is what i'm going to do is i'm going to put the anchor point of this so that it is right on the arm in here so pick the anchor point tool and place it on the arm so that we pick it from here click the pointer back and let's position it in the arm. We simply need to rotate it now so the head fits correctly. So press R on your keyboard and rotate this. Now these are in place. Now what you need to do for these to follow the hands is to simply attach these, link them, basically parent them to the, to the object controls in here. So in here we have a section named object controls. So the racket right in here is going to be parented to the left hand object to the to the right hand object actually so let's get the racket and let's parent that to the right hand object like that and the ball we're going to parent that to the right to the left hand object right in there so right now we can see that the ball is getting out of hand let's position it properly in here so that we see that it works well with the animation it needs to be a little bit more up I'm using the arrow keys and the racket as well as let's position that so it is in the correct place something like this looks good Let's play the animation to see how this looks. So we have the animation right in here now. And 
looks very good. So as you can see now, the objects are interacting with the, with the character like that. So that's it for the objects. There's one last thing that I would like to show you is that sometimes I would like to, for instance, make the objects pop in while just before the animation starts. So if you would like this racket, for instance, to pop in inside its hand, we have an option for that as well, since we have included with the package object animation. So if we go to animation presets and go to animation presets in here and object animations, we can find that we have start animations, movement animations, and end animations. Now we'll have a look at these at a later stage as well, where we will be explaining the scene designer, but let's see how we can use them inside these, these objects. So let's pop in the racket. So we have the racket in here. Let's give it a start animation. Make sure that it is at the, at the start in here, where we want to pop it from. And let's choose one of these animations. Let's say pop in, for instance, and double click on that. Now we can see that it starts from zero and then it pops in to his hands. And if we play the animation, we can see it working like this, as you can see, very, very nice. Now in the case for the ball, since we have modified its size, so let's go to the ball and let's make a pop-in for it as well. So simply go to the start and double click on pop-in. We can see that this size now comes back to 100. To fix this, simply click you, select the ball and click you, find the last keyframe in here, which is 100 in this case, and put it back to 10. So make sure that only the last keyframe is selected and put it back to 10, this scale. And that will fix it. So let's play it and let's see how this looks. As you can see now, they are popping in. And we can also, in the end, maybe add an end animation where they pop back out. So let's go to the racket and go to the back in here where everything stops. And from the racket in here, we're going to go to end. And let's see, let's give it something, something different like, for instance, rotate and pop out. And let's see how this looks. Make sure that the timeline is where you want it to be. Double click on that. Now, in this case, immediately you can find that if we go on you on our keyboard, we have lost the, the rotation here since we have dragged in new rotation. So let's undo this and see the rotation that we had before. I'm going to copy this and now import back that animation that we just did and simply paste that animation on the first keyframe in here before the animation ends. So make sure that you are on that and that you select only that keyframe. And I'm going to paste this right over here. So like this, let's play the animation and we can see the end animation here. And you can see that everything pops in, then he shoots it and then the racket rotates and goes out. And there we have it, very nice animation. So this is how you would use the objects with your characters.